Welcome to MathCast Edition 3, where we will be using the area model to illustrate the distributive property between a constant and a binomial. If that's a new word to you, then you may wish to pause here and have a read of the polynomial definitions. A monomial is one term, a binomial is two terms, and a trinomial is three terms. Now the important part here is not the number of unknowns or constants, but how they're separated. Notice these two terms here are separated by an addition sign. These three terms here are separated by a subtraction and an addition sign. That is how we count the number of terms. So trinomial one, two, three, binomial one, two. Notice no other terms to work with here, so that's a monomial. Algae tiles in the multiplication array. So we've developed the different shapes of the algae tiles. There's an x squared, x, and a 1. They also have their negative counterparts. So the zero principle still applies that if we pair up a x squared and a negative x squared, they zero each other out and cancel themselves off. The important guideline for working with algae tiles is that only equal side lengths can be next to each other. So if I wish to have an x term besides an, beside an x squared term, that would be acceptable because they have the same side length. An x squared can be beside a 1 because they share a side length here. But notice I cannot have this, ep or this situation where I have 1's stacked against an x squared they do not have the same side length on one tile, even though you could stack several of them together. They must have their own common side between the two shapes. Okay, so please pause this, study this, make sure you're aware of this. The algae tile model doesn't work well if we don't follow this rule. So let's get started. We're going to use the algae tiles and the multiplication array together. And this is what makes the area model. So I'm going to take 3 times x plus 2. So here's my dimensions of 3 and x plus 2. So I will represent 3 with 3 blue algae tiles, little guys. On the top, I'm going to represent x plus 2, like so. And now to fill this in, this is the multiplication array component, I need to go 1 times x. Well, 1 times x is x. If I continue down that side, 1 times x again is another x, and a third x. I now move over and look at 1 times 1, which is 1. And I continue that pattern. And what I see was I fill all of this in, is that I formed a nice rectangle inside the area block. So on the outside I have the dimensions, on the inside I have the rectangular area. When I multiply 3 times x plus 2, if I count up what I have in here, I have 3x's and 6 1's. 3x plus 6. Now you may spot a shortcut here, where if you multiply the 3 into each one of these terms, it also provides the same result. Example 2. I would like to multiply 2 times x minus 3. So now I have a negative term involved here. So to represent 2, again, I will use two blue singles on the algae tiles, and x minus 3 will look like this. So from the multiplication array, again, I multiply 1 times x to get x. And I repeat that calculation here. Now here's where I need to be careful. I have 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1. And I need to repeat that 6 times. And there's my result. So the result or product of 2 times x minus 3 is equal to 2x minus 6. And again, you may note that if I multiply the 2 into each term, it gives me the same result. Third example, I wish to multiply negative 4 times x minus 2. Now because this is a negative on the left hand side, I need to switch to red tiles. x minus 2 on the top, there we go. So now negative 1 times x 
is negative x. And I need to repeat that four times to fill that column in. Now again, I need to be careful here because I have negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. So when I fill all of those in, that's what I get. So now if we count them up, I have four negative x's and eight positive ones, which means my product is negative 4x plus 8. And a reminder that these are different size pieces, so they are unlike terms, so we cannot squish them together over here in the algebraic expression side. I would like to point out one more time though, I have this shortcut building, negative 4 times x, negative 4x, negative 4 times negative 2, positive 8. Looks like it's still holding true. My last example, negative 2 times negative x plus 1. So I'll represent negative 2 on the left hand side here with some red tiles negative x plus 1 on the top. Now negative 1 times negative x gives me positive x. And I need to do that twice. And now negative 1 times positive 1 gives me negative 1. So if I count this up, I have two x's and two negative 2's. So my result here is 2x minus 2. It's noteworthy to point out that the two negatives multiplied together make a positive, and the negative times a positive leaves me with a negative. At this point in time, you can pause this video and try your hand at multiplying these out. So negative 5 times the bracket of x plus 2, and see what you come up with. So here we go. I'll model this quickly. There's my negative 5, x plus 2, negative 1 times x, negative x, negative 1 times 1, negative 1, and I need to repeat that several times, so I can see my solution here is negative 5x minus 10. Thank you for your time. If you have any suggestions, questions, concerns, please send an email to childs underscore math at yahoo.com. Thank you for listening.